Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today's vlog I'm really excited about because I've been actually wanting to do this forever, but I couldn't bring myself to do this before I finished everything for baby. But now that the nursery is done and all the like logistics are done and all of the serious stuff that needed to be done is done. And now that I'm just sitting at home waiting for her to come, it's the perfect time to do a little DIY thrift flip, crafting. I'm kind of doing just stuff from around the house that I like the shape of or I like, but it maybe needs a little upgrade. So we'll see, but I have a few things in mind. One of them I actually filmed prior to this because it's for the nursery, so I'm going to add that into this video. But the rest I'm gonna do just here today and it's gonna be fun. So um, please comment below if you like what you see today and if you want more of these type of videos. I myself would love to do more of these videos in the future just because this is like my favorite stuff to do anyways so if you guys like these videos then I want to be able to do more and that's just kind of the reason we even started this in the first place was to show all of our projects and DIY and stuff and I feel like it's been very vloggy lately and like lifestyle but we'd really like to get back to projects and hopefully you guys will follow along so here we go I am here at um, the thrift store by my house and we are gonna try to find some stuff that we can DIY. So things I'm looking for, basically I'm always looking for like vases, bowls, stuff like that that I can paint and redo. But also some like bigger pieces like some furniture, like a bookcase. Um, which I guess I can't really load by myself right now, but if it's here, then I can have Jake come, um, help me. We'll just see what else we can find. Like, I don't really have anything in mind in mind, but I think it'll just like jump, jump out. I treated myself today to Starbucks and I have to like drive to get a Starbucks. There's none by my house. It's annoying actually Nashville add more Starbucks okay so we're gonna go in see what we can find and do a cute little DIY day or weekend probably I'll probably be doing a lot this weekend um, craft wise so here we go okay I've already found some stuff I like these are so cute and I actually kind of like them the way they are there's three of them, but I think I only need two because these two are the same size. Which one do I like better? This one. Oh, amazing. Too. 80 bucks. That's really cute. Okay, I had to cut that short because my bladder, you know, Starbucks is going straight through me and they do not have. This place is bullshit. I'm not, I don't want to come back here anymore. Honestly, they're way overpriced. It's a thrift store and you're going to put an $80 price tag on a mirror. Like, I can get a brand new mirror for $80. It's like, no. And you're not gonna allow the, you're not gonna have public bathrooms. Like it's a giant place and you're not gonna have your bath, there's like lock on the bathroom. Like, see ya. I did buy those candlesticks though because I just already had in my mind what I wanted to do with them. So, got those, not coming back here and we'll find a new place. Mama. 
I know, baby. So these are the things we're going to focus on today. These are the candlesticks I found at the thrift store. This is a bowl. I actually already textured a couple months ago, um, but I kind of put it to the sidelines and now we're gonna finish it. So it was from like Joann's or something. It was this ugly turquoise color and I painted that texture spray on it. Now we're gonna paint over that. Then it'll be like cute and textured. So in the last couple months, I have been really exploring a bunch of different YouTubers and I found so many amazing people on there and YouTube is just like the freaking best. So one in particular that I love and I'm obsessed with and I think I've watched like almost every video that he's ever made is Drew from Lone Fox. I highly, highly, highly recommend well, Noah. Highly recommend following him if you like DIY stuff. He posts every week. He does a lot of home decor, a lot of DIY, and just a, a fun follow. Um, but he actually taught me a lot of things um, that I didn't know about um, certain materials. So one of them being adding baking soda to paint to create um, a little bit more of like a stone look. So not always having to do um, like joint compound or the texture spray. Um, just adding baking soda right in with your paint. It makes like a thicker paste and it's going to give, you know, I'm planning on doing it on these. It's going to give it a nice like concrete looking, stone looking texture. So we're going to do that today. And I'm going to use my old chalkboard paint because that's the color I want. And then I'm going to mix it with the baking soda and we're gonna see how that turns out so I think it'll be cute. I just needed to see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. something to grab um, and it's probably gonna take a little while to dry because it is on a shiny surface but that's okay I hope my family's okay with this table being taken up for a little while so we're gonna put that to the side oh god I just... whoopsie So I'm just gonna put that to the side and we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, these are actually pretty dry. I just switched sides because I can't move the one that's over there. Dry enough for a second coat.
this is the mirror I was telling you about earlier. Um, this is a project I did previously because I wanted it to be put in the nursery and thought that I would include it in this video. So this mirror came from my mom's house. Um, she actually is redoing her whole house, so she kind of got rid of a bunch of stuff that, you know, she's had forever and just wanted new stuff. I loved the size of it and the style. I just knew that I wanted it to be gold. So I'm just taping it up, making sure the mirror is completely covered because I don't want to get spray paint. Oh, hi, Noah. I don't want to get spray paint on the glass part. So tape it up really nice, um, put paper over the fully cover the mirror part, and then we can take it outside and put a couple coats of spray paint. I use just a gold, I think it's a matte actually. I'll link it below, whatever I used, but um, let that dry and then brought it back inside, took all the tape and paper off and put it up on the little credenza. I had Jake hang it later, but it turned out really well and I absolutely love it. before I put this mixture up for the next coat of those uh, candlesticks I've been wanting to do something to this lamp for a while it's been sitting in my nook and I love the shape love the texture everything but the color is a little yellow it's not really coming off yellow on camera but like in real life it is like pale yellow and that is not cute so I think that I need a darker piece in here anyways because everything's very white and bright and like or wood tones so I need something a little more like charcoal-y or black so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on here so let's go ahead and see what it looks like coat is on. I love the way it's looking. It's so much better. And these lamps, you guys, are like insanely expensive if you were to buy this at the store. So it's going to look so good. I did like really uneven. I really wanted to make it look, you know, more like a ceramic. So it is, I mean, it is a ceramic, but you know what I mean. I want, I, I like the fact that some of that old pale yellow is kind of poking through. So on my next coat, I don't, I hope it doesn't cover fully, but I'll probably like add something like into it to make, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm liking it so far. Awesome. too black so I'm going I just did a dab of white paint and water I'm just kind of going over it a bit so it give it some 
a little more color texture. I think when Drew does this, he does it with... <laughs> what, Jake? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> when Drew does this, I think he does it with... He did it with mud. Because mud, like... Or, like, dirt from outside. Because dirt, like, dries a little bit. Like, creating this kind of film. But I just have when this... When mud thing. dries, it turns into dirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. same effect but in a white instead of the charcoal so I'm gonna do the same mixture with white paint and the baking soda and hopefully Thank you. 